Good evening, Night Owls. My name is Cameron Smith, and I have the privilege of hosting this virtual alumni celebration on behalf of the WGU Alumni Relations Team. We're so proud of what you've accomplished. A huge congratulations to you for completing your degree. We wanted to celebrate your huge accomplishment tonight and help you get ready for the big commencement ceremony tomorrow. And let me tell you, we are going to have some fun. Tonight, I will be your host and magical entertainment. And throughout the night, we'll have a bunch of WGU swag giveaways. And to start off, we have two $100 gift cards to the WGU store. If you want to win one of these gift cards, go to the chat and let us know where you're tuning in from. We'll give shout outs as well as announce our two winners who will be selected at random from the people who post in the chat. Ready? Go. While we wait for those answers to come in, I would like to tell you a little bit about myself and how I became a magician. When I was about eight years old, my grandpa gave me a magic kit for my birthday, the ones with the colorful little plastic props. Soon I was doing magic shows for my family with a cape made out of a blanket and a pencil for a magic wand. In high school, I was using magic tricks to cover up my socially awkward teenager phase, and then I used magic shows to help pay my way through college. I got my own degree a few years ago, and now I've performed across the country and internationally. Now that you know a little bit about me, let's welcome Natalie onto the stage from the alumni relations team who organized this event, as well as our keynote speaker for tomorrow's commencement, New York Times bestselling author and blogger, Jen Hatmaker. Welcome Natalie and Jen to the stage. Thanks, Cameron. Hi, Night Owls. We're so excited to be here with you tonight. And through the evening, you're going to be hearing from various WG alumni partners. We're going to be giving away a ton of WG swag and goodies, as Cameron mentioned. And we will be joined on stage by a few WG graduates, as well as enjoying some exciting magic tricks from our talented host. But before we get to that, I would love for you to all meet Jen. Thank you. Hi. Hello. And hi to you. We are delighted to be with you here tonight. I am. So thrilled to be a part of this commencement weekend. Um, I've been looking so forward to it and I count myself so lucky to be here. So thank you for having me. Graduates, I'm thrilled for you and for your family. So, so proud of you and all that you contribute to your community and what's coming down the pike for you. Okay, let's see. Let me share like one little detail about myself. Um, I'm 46 years old, but I am more like 86 years old because I, you'll not even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> I use a paper calendar, no exceptions. Um, my favorite show is CBS Sunday Morning with Jane Pauley. Um, and I still have unironically an AOL email address, <laughs> unironically. I'm pretty sure it. I'm the last living human person on AOL is my first and my only email address, and I'm like not even sorry. So I love it. You have a little granny you. as your commencement speaker this weekend, and I'm happy to be here. You oh, that's great. fantastic! I remember picking up the CDs from in front of stores, and like we threw them. We didn't use them. Oh, but, you're trolling! Oh, me. Yeah. that's nice. It's Thank fantastic. you. <laughs> yes. Uh, hi, Natalie and Jen. Yes. Thanks for being with us tonight. <laughs> uh, before we give away our gift cards, let's do a tiny bit of warm-up magic, real quick. Uh, <clears throat> Let's do this. So, I mean, the people at home, you're on your computers, you know, got to got to let your neck roll around a little bit. I'm just I'm sure the sound guys loving me right now for the microphone right there. It's great. Roll your shoulders around. It's fantastic. Get your blood flowing. You're going to be here for a little bit. Uh, we're going to do all kinds of fun stuff, but you're sitting on your couch instead of here with us. So, got to warm up. For the two of you here and for everybody at home, reach your hands out like this for me. Excellent. Cross your uh, not cross them over quite yet. Turn your thumbs down. Cross your hands over each other like that. Grab on to your hands. Perfect. Excellent. Now, everybody at home, try this with me, and you guys as well, on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. Wait. Wait. I don't understand what you just did. Oh. I'm really confused. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It's really silly, I know. Uh, <laughs> it's very silly. Uh, <laughs> all right, looks like we have graduates answering our question, uh, and we're excited to see where you're all tuning in from. Uh, let's check out the YouTube chat to see where everybody's from. Let's see. Not AOL. No, yes. Yes, AOL. <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer still has AOL. Thank you. Excellent. Go That's because she's my age. Everybody <laughs> born in the 70s is named Jennifer. So. <laughs> Let's see. Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Is KY Kentucky? I'm sorry. I should know that better. It is. We've got Southern California. That sounds amazing. Excellent. 
And then we got uh, Laura Albert, Washington, New Jersey. Okay, Washington, New Jersey. I thought Laura Albert was part of the city name for just a second. It's fine. Awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. Welcome. This is great. Yeah. Good to see where everybody's tuning in from. It's crazy how many people are spread out all over the world that go to WGU. Uh, one of the beauties of WGU is that its flexibility allows students to study basically anywhere. With more than 230,000 graduates nationwide, you can find WGU represented strongly in every state and U.S. territory. To those living on the beach, I envy you. And I also envy the winners of the $100 gift cards. Would you like to do the, uh, the honors and announce our winners? Sure. All right. Okay, first winner, Margaret Lyons Montoya. Congratulations. Yes. Congrats, Margaret. And our second winner is Cass Lane. Congratulations, Cass. Excellent. Margaret and Cass uh, email alumni at wgu.edu, and they'll get that gift card to you. Uh, thanks, Natalie and Jen. I'll take it from here. I've been told that WGU graduates are some really creative people. With that in mind, we decided to ask some of them a few questions. We gathered these answers uh, to those questions on social media, and I'm going to ask a few graduates to join me on stage to share those answers with you right now. We'll share another question later on, so stay tuned. James and Natalie, you want to join me on stage? This is James and Natalie. They're both WGU graduates, and we're excited to have them here with us. Let's get to know you a little bit better. Would you share with us uh, when you graduated and what your degree was in? I graduated from Western Governors University in the College of Business with a degree in Human Resource Management in November 2020. And next week, I will graduate from WGU with a master's degree in Management and Leadership. Go Night Owls! Right. Yes, excellent. Congrats, that's awesome. Hello, my name is James Armideris. I completed the Master of Science Management and Leadership degree in November 2020. Great support, great decision. Go Night Owls! Yes. Go Night Owls indeed. Thanks for sharing. And we are honored to have you join us in person today. It's fantastic. Uh, now to you viewers at home, we want you to tell us your answers to some of these questions as well. We'll give away three WGU beanies to three lucky graduates chosen at random who respond to the following question in the chat. Uh, what do we got? What's the question? What imaginary class do you wish WGU offered? All right, what do we got? We have some of the answers we got from social media. Does a PhD count? <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of classes, I assume. <laughs> oh, how about advanced mindlessness or advanced competitive underwater basket weaving? <laughs> oh, how, yeah. about, how about entrepreneurial mind on painting? Nice, with a little paintbrush emoji. They're getting all technologically on us. Yeah. Telekinesis and mind reading classes. See, that's why they had me here. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Nice. Learner analytics or a unicorn wrangling with a minor in butterfly whispering? Jeez. My five-year-old would go for that any day. <laughs> Very nice. DNP and certification review, elf spotting and unicorn herding, both beginner and advanced. I mean, you got to have a beginner and advanced classes. It's a very deep subject indeed. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's see. Intermediate class in interpretive silly walks. I mean, we got to skip the intro to silly walks class. I mean, should we do some silly walks? Sure. All right, let's oh, see. Let's yeah, see. So ready? if we, if I was teaching this class, this. a little bit of, a little of this going on. Yeah, go I this. wish they were playing some music. It would make me feel much better. It's almost right. like dancing. Yes. But uh, <laughs> get a little bit better rhythm if we had some fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We should definitely not teach that class. Yes. And of course, the last one, podcasting for dummies. Excellent answers. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, WGU admins, if you're looking for a guest lecture on telekinesis and mind reading, just give me a call. Now back to you who are tuning in live. Let's see what imaginary classes you suggested. We have Facebook chat here, I think. Official beach combing. Is that a reference to, oh, what is that, space balls? I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, sleep aquatics, I like this. I like nap, sleeping. Nap training Ooh, classes, yes. this is excellent. Home inspection? Home inspection. Okay. See, that's, that's actually useful. Yes, it is. <laughs> Advanced practice in TikToking. <laughs> and These real estate. Awesome. How to get promoted after obtaining a degree. Excellent. Well, we'll yeah. talk about that later with yes. some of the mentorship <laughs> things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I think we might have the names of our winners for the beanies. Uh, so we're going to welcome Sage to the stage, who I think has those winners' names. And I think, what do we got? 
<laughs> in fact, I think you two uh, will come on later on. So okay. awesome. Thanks Thank for being you. here, guys. All right, our winners for the beanies. Let's see. Do we have a drum roll? That's close enough. <laughs> our three winners are uh, Michelle Perdue, uh, Candy Lorenzo 49ers. All right, Candy. And uh, Melanie Harris. The three of you, if you would, send your mailing address. Thank you. You can take that one. There you go. Excellent. Send your mailing address to uh, alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address. I said that already. And we'll get those beanies onto your heads shortly. We've got a bunch more of these giveaways to come throughout the program tonight. Thanks, Sage. You can take off for now. Speaking of giveaways, before I blow your mind with another magic trick, tell us in the chat. If you could make anything disappear, what would it be? For the chance to win these WGU sunglasses and WGU mask, we'll select two winners to take home this prize, and I'll tell you, these masks are fantastic. They're adjustable and super comfortable. While we wait for your answers to come in, uh, Jen, would you uh, bring those ropes up to me, please? I will. Jen's back. I love Jen. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be really good at this. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, Jen. So here's what we have. For the okay. viewers at home, you know this, but we have three ropes. Okay. A small one and a couple other ones. If okay. you would please double check them. Make sure that they are just regular ropes. They don't okay. stretch. They don't come apart. They don't have any hidden trapdoors, escaping okay. gases, third world countries, gremlins. Uh, nothing right. like that. Also no magnets, snaps, Velcro, oh. nothing like that. Check the ends together. Didn't even know nothing about those goop. tricks. I know. Okay giving away secrets. As they appear to be ordinary ropes. Excellent. So as I mentioned, we have, oops, oops it's all right. We have three different lengths of rope. A long one, we have a little tiny short one, okay. and a medium sized rope. So I'm gonna be performing for you and for the camera. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna create an illusion. The illusion is gonna be that these three ropes are the same size instead okay. of three different sizes. But it's just an illusion, so don't freak out too much. I will not. Excellent. Don't want to have any wild freak outs on stage here in front of all the cameras. Here's what we do. We give the ropes a little twirl like this. Same size. It's very clever. It's not that clever. Uh, it's fine. So now that the ropes look like they're about the same size, we can continue on with oh. the tricks. Oh. So I know it's weird. <laughs> that well, makes me crazy. I hope so. I mean, yeah. that's, that's kind of what we're going for. So we have three ropes that look like they're the same size, which means we can start having all kinds of fun. For example, you take these two ropes and stick them together. Like that. And then, uh, incidentally, ropes have two ends and a middle. Okay. Right? Two ends and a middle. Do you know what happens if you take the ends off of a piece of rope? They fall to the ground. Uh, usually, but this is a magic trick, okay. which means if you take the ends off of this piece of rope, you end up with an endless rope which is kind of fun. I know it's a silly joke, but it's a cool magic trick. I, I mean. Know. I'm like watching as hard as I can. And I, don't know what's, I don't know how it's happening. I think that like breaks the science or something. We'll put the ends back on, ready? Just like that. Now in my pocket, I have the mystical magical scissors. Okay. Yeah, mm. it's very silly, I know. You give them a little snip like that and we get no. back to the two ropes. Put those away. And uh, remember, I said at the very beginning that this is just an illusion, which means this is still three very different lengths of rope. They just kind of look like they're the same size right now. What we do is we give uh, what we in the industry call a wiggle. Okay, it's technical. It's a very technical Jargon. term. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you give it a wiggle, that goes right back to where we started with the uh, short rope and the long rope and the medium sized rope. And that's the rope trick. Excellent. Thank you, Jen. You can take those back off stage with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I bet you're wondering who won the sunglasses and the mask. The lucky winners are Kelsey Hughes Workman and Matthew Schaefer. I think it's Schaefer. Probably not Schaffer. Pretty sure it's Schaefer. If you were selected as a winner, Kelsey and Matthew, email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address and we'll get your prize to you. Now let's enjoy this video put together by the WGU scholarship team. This team has supported the needs of students to help them obtain their goals of earning a degree. And just so you know how it's gonna to work tonight, the majority of the time that we play a video, that's your cue that we're giving away more cool WGU swag and prizes. To give you a taste of what you're in for, we're giving these AirPods 
to a lucky graduate, so stay tuned for a chance to win. Reply in the chat with the program you graduated from, and we'll select one winner for those AirPods. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed the video. Sage and I are honored to announce the winner of the AirPods. Sage, who's the winner? Double Double Animal Style. Double Double Animal Style. I am starving right now. <laughs> uh, I think the winner is, uh, is actually uh, David Sollers. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. David, congratulations. Email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address and we'll get your prize to you. Now I asked uh, Natalie and James to join me for a few magic tricks over here at the table. Thanks, Sage. You can head off. Natalie, James. <laughs> All right. So it's my first uh, card trick of the day. Now card tricks, there's an awful lot of things going on. We got 52 cards and uh, I need to warm up a little bit first. So if you don't mind, we're going to start off with a trick with three cards only. And I'm going to see if I can show you the difference between sleight of hand an actual real life fake magic. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, don't read into that too much. Uh, we have the two, which is where the magic's gonna happen. And we have two tens, just cause they look real different from the two. Okay. What we're gonna do is uh, stick the two between the tens. And this first part, like I said, is gonna be more sleight of hand than magic. Sleight of hand, fast fingers, press to digitation. Right. That means fast fingers. It's oh, fine. Fancy. Uh, it's just got like 16 <laughs> syllables, so it's great. Uh, watch the two in the middle of the tens. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to bounce it up and down. It goes one, two, three, and the two flips over. Again, it's just fast hands, nothing too terribly impressive to start. We've got to start somewhere. Uh, we'll try it again, though, and we'll try to make it a little bit cooler. We take the two once again and stick it between the tens again. But this time, instead of bouncing that card up and down like we did before, we're going to give it a wiggle side to side. Remember, the wiggle with the ropes yeah. helped out quite a bit. So we give this a wiggle side to side like that. Watch the two in the middle looks just like that. Whoa. Whoa. It changed colors. <sighs> so that's the difference between sleight of hand and actual real life fake magic. You can check those out if you like. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <That's so curious. laughs> wow. Uh, James, would you just point to a card for me? Sure. The nine. Nine of spades. Are you happy with that or do you want to change yes, your mind? Yes, nope. That's okay. perfect. Uh, any particular reason why you chose the nine or just kind of a random one there in the middle? Just the random one. Random one there. Yep, the absolutely. Cool. Yep. I like to ask some people have favorite cards or lucky cards or things like that. My favorite card, for example, is the two of hearts because it's adorable. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. <laughs> It's a cute card. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna give this a little wave over the top like this, and if we do that just right, the whole thing turns blue. Oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Except for one, and only oh, one no. red card. Now we'll Stop. hope for the best here. <clears throat> now I asked you if you wanted to change your mind. You could have changed your mind if you wanted to. Let's see if we're lucky enough. And that's the nine of spades. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. Now I'll do that one more time, just because people always say, do that again. There we go. Um, let's see. Would you just say stop for me whenever you like? Stop. Six of diamonds. I like diamonds. Diamonds are great, right? Fantastic. I wish, that's right. I wish I knew the tune to that song. I'd sing it for you. Oh, well. Okay, let's try it again. It goes just like this, and we give it a wave. Oh. 
Oh, remember, I said there's one and only one red card. You did. Oh, no. That's your sixth diamond right there. <laughs> That's <laughs> very nice. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> All right. So cool. Enough with the color changing stuff. Let's get at some good other types I'm... of magic. Um, <clears throat> Natalie, choose a card out for me. Let's do the two of hearts. The two of hearts, good choice. Would you please write your name real big across there so everybody on camera can see. You'll see why that's important here shortly. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Put the cat back on there. <laughs> Try not to blow on your microphone. All right, Natalie, <clears throat> so you picked the two of hearts, which is a great choice. Mm -hmm. uh, and you put your name on there, which means it's the only card just like that in the entire world. Here's what we're gonna try to do. Uh, that two of hearts <clears throat> feels very special right now. First mm -hmm. off, because it's my favorite card, and second off, because you put your name on it. And it wants to hold on to that attention as long as it possibly can. Ah, uh, would you hold on to this, please? This looks Absolutely. a little bit like a magic wand. <laughs> uh, it's really a uh, WGU alumni chapstick which we might be giving some money later for you. Hold on to that, it's a magic wand. Careful, it's a real magic wand. You got it. Uh, it's been holding out in my pocket for a long time, so it's gained some of those magical powers. It's fantastic. Uh, so you chose the two of hearts, we stuck it in the middle of the deck. Please wave the magic wand over the top, just like that. It jumps from the middle of the deck where it was just a second ago, right up here to the top of the deck with your name on it. What? Now I know yes. there was a long time between when I stuck that in the middle and when it jumped to the top. Wave it over the top for me, wave it over the top. Very nice. Magical powers galore. Jumps from the middle of the deck all the way up here to the top of the deck, just like magic with your name very on nice. it. We'll do it again. Wave it over the top one more time, yes. just like that. It's very fast. Now remember, I had you write your name on this, and the reason I have you do that is because most people when I do this trick, they think, well, he's got to have more than one two of hearts. This one is the only one like that. Just to make sure that I'm not cheating, there is only one two of hearts. There's two of diamonds right there, but there's no other two of hearts in the deck. The other way that people think that I do this trick is they think, well, if there's only one and it keeps on jumping to the top of the deck, well, then he must be putting some other random card into the middle of the deck and leaving my card on the top, which would be a very smart guess. Uh, <laughs> But of course, that would be cheating, and of course, I'm not going to cheat, so we're going to use your card. Heard some laughs over there off stage, it's great. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give this a little bit of wave in front of Ariana's eight of hearts. So you give it a wave just like that, and it jumps through. Stop. I know, it's so yeah, fun. Nice. <laughs> so good. Yes, uh, would is. you, with the magic wand, yes. please, uh, put it there on the corner of the card. Yeah, stack it just like that, and hold on to it with your finger. You got it. Perfect. I'm going to do some misdirection over here. See if I can distract you enough to sneak that card out. I think I got it, actually. I think I might have got it. Let's see. Did I get it? Oh. Oh. Let's find out. Yep, got it. <sighs> oh, yes. <laughs> What's this one? Yes. Set it hearts again. All right. Um. <laughs> Oops, sorry, leave that there. I'm so confused. I yep. know, it's so fun. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll do this one more time. I'm going to do all kinds of shuffles and cuts and things like that to try to distract you. Make sure that you watch my hands very closely to make sure that I don't sneak anything away. Go ahead and push that square with the rest of the deck. Excellent. I'm going to do a whole bunch of shuffles and cuts and things just like this, real fancy-like. And we'll see how long it takes them to notice. Whoa. What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> How long was that? Very nice. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's put that away. Well, actually, let's not put that away. Tell you what, let's do a different trick, though, because that one's it's fun. Uh, <laughs> James, if you would, yes. uh, just say stop for me, please. Stop. Excellent. And uh, let's see. We'll use that card. And uh, this is going to be a little bit different. It's a different kind of trick than I, uh, than I normally do because we're only going to use this one card and we're going to do something that usually makes people squirm a little bit. First, we're going to fold a card. Oh. I know. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> and then fold it again. At least you folded it well. It's yeah. very straight. Yeah, yeah, it's very straight. Very perfect. I'm going to tear this. Oh, that hurts too. I know, right? <laughs> it's okay. I've got like 50 decks of cards at home to replace this with. Don't worry about it. Let's give that a tear. 
right there. So now we have one, two, three, four pieces of the seven of hearts. All right, put those all together. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, <laughs> she's nervous. I'm like watching. I That's can't. right. Where did <laughs> that, oh, so I totally lost my train of thought for a second. Hold this for me. And this is the, uh, the magic wand again. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can, with your help and the magic wand's help, I'm gonna see if I can make those four pieces fuse back together into one card. Uh, in fact, let's do it even better. Let's, let's get one of these pieces out. That one right there. There we go. So we'll leave that one on the table so that way when the three fuse back together, then we can compare them and we'll make sure that it's from the same thing. So give the magic wand a mystical magical wave over the top. Oh gosh, that was... <laughs> Hold on. Have you done magic before? No, but no? I wanted to make sure this has got to come off right, so I gave it a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> Not only did you fuse the three pieces back together, but you actually made them disappear. Oh, uh, very nice. Well. Hold on. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> no way. No way. Uh, oh. What? Okay. How did you do this? Uh, that is incredible. Take the card out. All right, unroll that for me. <laughs> unroll it all the way. Check this Un out. Check that with a corner. Oh. <laughs> What? Uh, How? Look at this. James is the best magician in the room. I'm not even <laughs> close. All right, thank you, too. I'm going to do one more magic trick, but I'm going to do it with somebody online. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, do we, do, do we have somebody online for me? Thank you so much. I'm going to go over here. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Hello. So happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, glad to have you here, too. What's your name? My name is Audrey. Audrey, hello, Audrey. I'm going to do an interesting magic trick with you, okay? Uh, this is going to require a little bit of imagination on your part. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to imagine that in my hand, I have an invisible deck of cards. Now, it, with this invisible deck of cards, it has very many magical properties to it. I'm going to see if I can't hand this to you through the camera so you can hold the magical deck of cards. Now, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm handing it over here. Hold out your hand for me. Hold out your hand so it's in the camera. Excellent, right there, right there. Bam, oh, okay, I think it worked. Awesome. Okay, take the magical invisible deck of cards for me. Give it a shuffle to make sure I didn't uh, stack the deck or anything. <laughs> Excellent, look at that. I've seen people like juggle with invisible decks of cards, all kinds of stuff, it's so fun. Okay, what I would like you to do is think of a card for me. Now, a lot of people choose the Ace of Spades or the Queen of Hearts or one of the Kings, something like that. When I ask them to think of a card, think of something harder to guess. Let me know when you have one in mind. Got it? Excellent. What I would like you to do is fan out all the invisible cards in front of you so you can see all their faces. Perfect. I want you to find the card that you're thinking of, take it out of the deck, Turn it backwards and put it back in. So you should have all the face-up cards and your card that you're thinking of face down. Is that right? Perfect. Square it up, put it back in the box for me. And I'm going to have you pass it back through the camera, back through the screen to me. See if I can't get it. Oh, gosh, that hand is humongous. <laughs> Excellent. That was... That was terrifying. All right, the invisible deck of cards goes into my pocket, and we do some mystical, magical stuff. If only James was here with his magic wand. Perfect. And the deck is visible. Ooh. It's a very magical trick, I know. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't want this to be a trick just for you. So, uh, in order for uh, everybody else that's online, that's watching to, to have fun with this trick, would you say out loud, please, what is the card that you're thinking of that you turned upside down? The King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. Let's 
find out here. The king of hearts, you said. <laughs> and you did turn it upside down, right? I did indeed. Okay. Oh. You are a fantastic magician. There's your king of hearts. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. We'll see you later. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now back to you, our graduates. Get those fingers ready and comment in the chat with who you would refer to WGU. And we'll pick three of you to win this backpack and water bottle. This giveaway is brought to you by the WGU Refer a Friend team, and they want you to know that if you click the referral link in the chat, you'll be eligible for even more fun WGU swag. Again, let us know who you would refer to WGU for a chance to be one of our prize winners. Learn more about the referral program from this video, and we'll announce our winners after that. Once you've experienced the benefits of WGU's affordable, personalized approach to getting your degree online, it's natural to want to tell everyone you meet. Now, there's an easier way to let friends and family know about WGU. Refer a Friend is a platform that makes it easy to tell friends and family about the benefits of WGU and earn rewards. Sign up just once to get a personalized link that you can share with as many people as you want on blogs, emails, forums, and your favorite social media platforms. You can track how many people have checked out WGU from your link and earn cool WGU gear in the process. More referrals, more rewards, more convenient. Sign up today to refer a friend and help us change people's lives through education. Awesome. And we're still waiting for a couple of those names to come through, so I'm going to do a trick that I'm kind of learning right now. Let's see. If you take this, and then you make it go over there, and then you kind of give it a rub, then it disappears. Oh, it disappears. <laughs> All right, we have three winners. Uh, we have Sam Abdelmisse. I'm really sorry that I probably butchered your name. Uh, I'm sure you know who you are. Kim Larson and Yvonne Stace. You are the winners. Be sure to email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address and we'll get your prize to you. Something else I've heard about WGU grads is that you love your mentors. Because of that, we've invited a WGU mentor and grad to speak with us tonight. Autumn. Would you introduce yourself and your graduate, please? Yes. Hi, my name's Autumn Harrell. I am a program mentor in the Teachers College. Over the past year, I have had the amazing honor of being Chelsea's program mentor. Chelsea is one of our newest graduates here at WGU, and she is soon to be a master's candidate. Ooh. Awesome. Hi, Autumn. <laughs> ah, I know. It's so good to see you. <laughs> So, uh, Autumn, wh why don't you tell us a little bit of something about, uh, about Chelsea and, and how it's been working with her? Yeah, it's been, I, I wrote a little bit of something. So, um, oh. Chelsea, and, yeah, I, <laughs> you and I met. I know, I'm sorry, because um, I have a lot to say. I'm sorry. Um, we met in April of 2020, and you decided to start your bachelor's degree on May 1st, 2020, during a pandemic. And not just like any bachelor's degree, a um, education where she's going to be going out and doing preclinical experience and demonstration teaching with children during a pandemic. You set an, a really aggressive goal. When she came to me, she wanted to get a bachelor's degree in one year. And I knew she could do it. <laughs> and I, um, I set out the roadmap and she did everything on her map. And in April of 2021, she graduated. <laughs> So good. <laughs> and not, yeah. And so not only did you, Chelsea, complete your basic skills, your background clearance, your content exam, your RECA, your preclinical experience, your demonstration teaching, and all the classes in record time, <laughs> you did this while facing your own personal challenges and with such an amazing attitude always. Every time I called you, you were always laughing and you were always so upbeat. And I just want you to know that I admire you and your perseverance and your positive attitude. You are an amazing person. I am so blessed and honored that I got to be your program mentor. The teaching community is so lucky to have you. 
And we at WGU are so lucky to have you as a graduate. Thank you, Autumn. Yes. <laughs> you didn't tell me you'd make me cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry too. <laughs> oh. Oh, Chelsea, I gotta tell you, it took me six years to get my degree. <laughs> so I mean, you're six times cooler than I am. Chelsea, why don't you tell us a little bit about Autumn and what your experience has been like with her? Yeah, so when I first um signed up and I told her, she was like you know, my experience was that she was going to say, no, that's crazy. There's no way that's possible. And she was just like, okay, let's do it. And she set me up and I would get so excited to call her. Um, she was always so bubbly and her laughter was so infectious. And even though I'm in Los Angeles and Autumn is not, um, she always made herself available at a completely different time for me. And even though I usually made 15 minute appointments and talked for way longer, <laughs> She was like my personal cheerleader and my accountability partner. And she really kept me going, especially there were times when I was in the hospital and things were getting really hard. And she just, you know, okay, so how are we going to get back on track? How are we going to get there? And I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. That's fantastic. That's so cool. Uh, thanks, Autumn and Chelsea. That's fantastic. Um, Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, I've been Thank impressed. You. Yeah, you're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> I've been impressed uh, with the amazing support that WGU provides its students. Um, having a mentor is a brilliant idea. And if I had one, I probably would have gotten my degree a little faster than six years. But now we have a video message from several more mentors at WGU. In the comments, tell us your favorite thing about your mentor. And we'll be giving away a $50 gift card to the WGU store to two winners selected at random. Let's hear from some of your mentors. Hello, my name is Keisha Bond and I'm a program mentor in the College of Business supporting the MSMO program. I want to congratulate each of you on receiving your degrees, especially my MSMO graduates. I'm sad that we aren't able to meet today, but I hope that you would take the time to celebrate and enjoy your special moment. You did it. Remember, you are always a part of the WGU family. Again, congratulations. Hello, Night Owls. My name is Stacy Schwartz, and I'm a program mentor in the College of Health Professions. And I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate all of you for your success and dedication to completing your degree. Great job. We are all very excited for you to continue your journey and um, your dedication into your current life and um, bettering your family. Uh, great job. We're very proud of you and good luck to you in your future. Congratulations, graduates, especially to those of you who I had the honor and privilege of working with throughout your educational journey. I wish each and every one of you the very best of luck in your future. And again, congratulations. Congratulations, graduate, on meeting all of your goals. I wish you the best in your future endeavors the future is now yours to behold. Congratulations. Thanks for your hard work. You did it and you're now graduates. Congratulations. Hi Night Owls, my name is Candy Dixon. I'm a program mentor in the Teachers College. I wanted to give a special shout out to my graduates that are participating in today's commencement. It's been a wonderful journey being with all of you and I wish you the very best of luck in the future. Go Night Owls. Hello everyone, my name is Brenda. I'm with the College of Health Professions and I'm here to wish each and every one of you a very great big huge congratulations. You've accomplished something wonderful. You've accomplished your dream and you deserve the best. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Hi, this is Carrie Morris in Mentoring. Just wanted to say congratulations to all of you. Your hard work and perseverance is really inspiring. Go celebrate, we're so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You worked hard and you did it. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Good luck in all that you do. My name is Terry Jude Miller and I'm a program mentor in the College of Business. In honor of Western Governor University graduates, I dedicate the following poem, Night Owl Forever. From this life's tempest, I acquire flight, the long night triumph over barrier and snare. Would I escaped 
defines my future, what I captured has strengthened my wings. I am the night owl, now and forever. I am the night owl, hear my victory cry from my place in the sky. Congratulations, graduates. May your future bless you abundantly. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, honestly, I went to school at a very large university and never had anything like that. So, you're fortunate people. We have our two winners for the $50 gift card, Anita Mason and Ebony Murchison. Uh, congratulations, be sure to email alumni at wgu.edu with your address and we'll send those gift cards your way. Just for fun, let's add another giveaway. Answer this question in the chat. What was your power food that helped you through your study sessions? <laughs> we'll select two winners to take home this water bottle and chapstick duo. I'm sorry, it won't be a magic chapstick. I apologize, but it'll still be a great chapstick. While those answers come in, we now have the privilege of hearing from Provost and Chief Academic Officer Marnie Baker Stein. Marnie has been an inspiring leader at WGU with her passion for helping students succeed, particularly those from underserved backgrounds. Here's Marnie. Hello, WGU graduates. My name is Marnie Baker Stein, and I'm the Provost and Chief Academic Officer at WGU. On behalf of all of us at the university, congratulations for all of your hard work. This commencement weekend is all about you, celebrating you and your amazing accomplishment. We couldn't be more proud. Enjoy tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow for the big day. It's always great to hear from WGU's provost. And back to our giveaway for the water bottle and chapstick. Uh, do we have winners yet for those? I don't think so. Okay. Didn't plan this. Camera guys, if you can get uh, a view on my feet here, this is gonna be really weird. <laughs> if we do this, give that a little untying, give this a little shot, you give this a little wiggle like that, and if you do that just right, the whole thing comes back together and you can tie your shoe like that. I know. Perfect, we have our winners now. <laughs> Lisa R. Shaleen and uh, Corinna, Corinna, or Corinna or Corinna Arzola, uh, please email alumni at wgu.edu and we'll get those sent off to you. So who's excited for commencement tomorrow? <laughs> From this very stage where I'm standing, we'll recognize nearly 2,000 WGU graduates. Despite COVID-19 impacting in-person commencements, WGU continues to offer engaging virtual commencements to honor graduates. You'll be hearing from our keynote, Jen Hatmaker, as well as two amazing graduate speakers tomorrow. Let's welcome Jen back to the stage and get a sneak preview from your grad speakers, Adam and Kim. Well, I am beyond thrilled to be with you tomorrow during the commencement ceremony. Um, and if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a longtime fan of formalities and pomp and circumstance and ceremony and pageantry and graduations have always been one of those things that just send me into absolute tears. So when I worked with the WGU staff and they said, now this is up to you, however you want to present your speech, you can just wear your normal clothes. If you want to, you have the option to wear graduation robes. And I said, I am 100% wearing the robe. I would also like a hat, whatever it's called. I'm interested in tassels or like whatever else there is, like a stole or anything. So I do want you to know that tomorrow you will still see me in full regalia as if I have a doctorate. Okay, so I don't, but I will look like I do. Um, and so I cannot wait. I have some funny stories to tell you tomorrow and some beautiful stories to tell you tomorrow. And I'm so honored to be with you. So do enjoy this evening. I can't wait to be with you in the morning. Oh, but I'm still here. Okay. If you want to be in on some more swag giveaway, sorry, I missed that. Missed that cue. Reply in the chat the name of your town and state for the chance to be selected for some really, really cool prizes. So this is cool. Courtesy of WGU Missouri, they've donated a hat, duffel bag, 
backpack, water bottle, and license plate holder. And courtesy of our Southeast region, they've donated a backpack, water bottle, umbrella, and wall charger. So while we wait for those answers to come in, let's hear from your grad speakers for tomorrow's commencement. Hello, night owls. What a wonderful night this has been so far. And tomorrow will be even more thrilling. My name is Kim Larson, and I am from Mount Vernon, Washington. I'm excited to be able to share my story with you tomorrow during commencement. I'm sure you will find many similarities as we reminisce our WGU journey together and look back at all that we have accomplished as we work so hard to achieve our dreams. See you soon. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Adam Salvatierra, and I'm honored to be one of your graduate speakers tomorrow at the 2021 Spring Virtual Commencement. We did it, Night Owls! <laughs> oh, yay. I can't wait to share the stage with Kim and Adam tomorrow. Okay, our winners of the WGU Missouri and Southeast Region Prizes are Genesis Grace and George Jorgensen. Congratulations. Y'all email to at alumni at wgu.edu and we'll get those sent to you. All right, let's welcome Cameron back to the stage. Cameron, you're driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy I with mean, these tricks tonight. It's my job. Yeah. It's working. <laughs> it looks like tomorrow's commencement ceremony will be one to remember. As I've learned a little more about WGU, I've discovered that the university is one of the most military friendly universities in the country. And we want to say a sincere thank you to all the military members who are graduating tomorrow. Reply in the comments which branch of the military you or your family members served in, and we'll select four winners to receive a $50 gift card to the WGU store. Now let's take a moment and recognize tomorrow's military graduates.
Sincerely, really, thank you so much for your service to our country. I think we have those four winners. Uh, Tammy Bach, I'm going to go with Jujel because I think it sounds cool. Uh, <laughs> Robin Bloodworth Fleming, Alan Shrillo, got it, and David Rocha, Rocha, something like that. I'm terrible at names, I apologize. For those four of you, uh, you'll get those $50 gift cards once you email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address. Now let's have some fun with WGU graduates and members of the WGU alumni relations team. Welcome them to the stage, April, Natalie, Natalie, and James. I know it's a little tough with the two Natalies, so we're gonna kind of give you a little help. We're gonna call them just number one, number two, number three, and number four, because we're gonna play an intense round of dice balance. If you're watching at home, you can get involved by voting for who you think will win the contest. One, two, three, or four. We'll select three people who successfully guessed the winner, and you'll receive these WGU socks and notebooks. So, your participants, April, Natalie, and Natalie and James. Remember, vote in the chat who you think will successfully balance the most dice at one time on the popsicle stick. Here's how to play. You're gonna pick up your popsicle stick, stick it in your mouth, <laughs> and when the time starts, you're gonna to try to balance as many dice as you can on the stick. We're gonna give you 60 seconds. I'm gonna keep track of who has the most piled on there. And uh, if you drop them, it's okay. Your number still counts and I'll try to keep on going. So we have 60 seconds. Viewers at home, comment in the chat who you think will win to receive the socks and notebooks. Starting in three, two, one, a go. All right. So we start off all in the same place, as we might expect. We have two, we have two, we have two, we have two, excellent. I see three, delightfully balanced there. I see th four, oh, four, oh my gosh, four, four. Okay, when we practiced this before, they were not nearly this good. One, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four. Oh, did not quite get six. Oh, one, two, three, five, six. Woo yeah, oh my gosh, that is seven. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and I'm trying to make her laugh a little bit by just like. <laughs> <laughs> she had seven though. Mm. She had seven. Did you have seven? Did you have eight? I think it was seven. That was incredible. Okay. I don't know if we have enough time to get that many back on another one, but we're going to get. Oh, that was five. Not quite. <laughs> oh man, I got to practice this game. I thought I was going to be decent at it, but she's going to blow me out of the water. I have five over here. And. Yeah, I think that's our time. Holy mackerel, April. That was amazing. Number one, clearly the winner with seven, maybe eight dice. Excellent, Yay! excellent, excellent. <laughs> so if you guess number one, we'll be choosing those winners, uh, a few random people, uh, and we'll see who wins. Man, I'm, I'm so curious. I don't, oh, I can't stick those in my mouth. You already had them in your mouth. Darn it. I mean, you want to see a magic trick? It's pretty cool. What you do is you take this and you put it over there and you put it over there and you make it disappear and then it disappears. <laughs> the same trick that I did before. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, look at this, look at this. <laughs> we're still waiting for names to come in, it's fine. <clears throat> we have two coins here, check this out. What we're gonna do is take one over here, one over there. This one goes like this and it goes, jink, do you hear that? It jumps from one hand to the other. I know. How did you do that? Magic. <laughs> Check this out. Oh. Boop, just like that. She's great. I like Natalie. And Natalie, but I mean, Nat <laughs> I have no idea who our winners are going to be. I'm just standing here spitballing until we get those winners. It's going to be fantastic. What else we got? Let's see. Ooh, do I have this thing? Check this. This is actually really cool. I have a fork. All right. <laughs> okay, watch this. A little wiggle like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Camera guy. He's got to get his in the shot. There we go. A little bit like this. Okay. You're really strong. Uh, or magical. <laughs> you just give a little. <laughs> I know. What? Ah, we have some winners. All right. Uh... <laughs> Heidi Haas, 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 
Heidi Haas, Megan Edison, Edson, not Edison, Edson, and Tana Harwood. I'm just going to make it a running joke that I just mess up all the names. It's fine. To those three, be sure to email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address, and we'll get those prizes to you. We have another congratulatory video, and you know what that means. Reply with the name of your job title, and watch to the end to see if you win this phone wallet from the career and professional development team, as well as this picnic blanket from WGU Texas. Ooh. We'll select two winners to be sent the wallet and picnic blanket after this video. Hi, Night Owls. This is Michael from Career and Professional Development. Congratulations on your accomplishment and your degree conferral. We wish we could be there to celebrate with you in person, um, but we're excited nonetheless. Um, I wanted to take the opportunity to let you know about our office and some of the services and resources that we can provide you um, as you journey on in your career, um, now as, as part of the alumni network at WGU. First of all, it's important to know that as alumni, you have access to our resources and services and advisors free for life, so we won't ever cut you off. Uh, a good place to get started is by going to our website at wgu.edu forward slash career dash services to check out all that we have to offer. Please know we're here for you, regardless of where you may find yourself in your career. So stay in touch, reach out to us, let us know how we can support you. And we're excited to see where you go and what you do with your career and life. Um, and remember to, um, to stay connected. Um, we're excited to support you and we're excited about today and your accomplishment. Uh, best wishes, and we look forward to, to working with you in the future. Sorry, I'm just practicing. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, uh, we have two winners, I think. We have at least one. Uh, Christina Prince is one of the two winners. I think we're still <laughs> waiting for the other one. I just glued the dice on, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, Robin Hill, Robin Hill is winner number two, congratulations. Don't forget to email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address so we can send you your prize. Now let's hear from WGU's advancement team to see how the contributions of graduates like you have helped other WGU students succeed. We'll be selecting five winners to receive this advancement notebook. Very nice. <gasps> Tell us in the comments your favorite thing about WGU, and we'll select five random submissions to win. Hi, I'm Annalisa Holcomb, president of WGU Advancement. On behalf of my team, we want to say congratulations, graduates. You did it. And we'd especially like to congratulate and thank those of you who will proudly display a blue and gold philanthropy cord with your cap and gown. Wearing a cord indicates that you have paid it forward by making a gift to the WGU Fellow Night Owl Scholarship. One of those night owls your generosity has directly impacted is Angela. Here's what she has to say. I was utilizing a um, financial aid to go to school um, because I am a full-time uh, employee, so I do have to work full-time, but I have a disabled son that lives at home with me. So we were facing some situations to go and face brain surgery. And when I got downgraded into part-time, my financial aid would not pay. So I did not know how I was gonna continue to go to school. And I am so grateful to this scholarship for um, stepping in and helping me to continue to go to school because otherwise I would not. It's a blessing and I hope that someday that my contributions will be able to help another student the way that the contributions from other students have blessed me and helped me to continue to be a student and reach my dream. Just be very proud of yourself. It's, it's an amazing achievement. I'm proud of you too. And uh, <laughs> go Owls. <laughs> really is fantastic when you contribute back to the university that you graduated from, uh, you can help out a lot of people. <clears throat> we have some winners. 
For the notebooks, Kaylin Sims, Daryl Garcia, Lisa Blazer, I think. Uh, we've got a James M. It's a mystery name, so I'm just going to call you James Mystery. And Rick Ibrahim. The five of you, don't forget to email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address so, you can, so we can send you your prize. All right, we've got another list from our social media questions for you. James and Natalie, want to join me on stage again? All right, we asked the WGU graduates the following. What theme song would be used at your graduation? I know many of these graduates uh, out there can relate to these answers, so throw out, throw out your own answers in the chat for the chance to win this message board. We will select two winners to take home this fun decor item. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without further ado, here are some of our favorite responses. That would have been quite inspiring if Party in the USA didn't just happen to start right as I read that post. It's a long song title. <laughs> <laughs> a Hall of Fame by the script featuring Will I Am. Or how about my favorite, I'm gonna party like it's 1999. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, let's see. James? Yeah, do you like me more? Do you like me now by the heavy more for humor than anything else? <laughs> okay. Let's see, we've got oh. Telstar by the Tornadoes. I haven't heard of most of these. <laughs> Or how about, hey, look, Ma, I made it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, what about hallelujah, hallelujah? Or nice. hallelujah, hallelujah, I made it. <laughs> I like that one better. <laughs> James. That is very good. Everybody's free to wear sunscreen by Boz Lerman or Good Riddance. By Green Day. Or School's Bye, Out by Alice Cooper. School, you can't sing School's Out like that. You get a little, like, School's <laughs> Out. You know, something like, <laughs> or I did it my way. Good choices of songs. Fantastic. I think we've got a few answers from the chat. So maybe we can read some of those too. What do we got? People are coming in from the ocean. We are the champions. Queen, we that's are excellent. The champions, my friends. Unstoppable. Oh, yes. yes, a sing, singing magician. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Smile, sidewalk prophets. Is there a song called Go Night Owls? There should be. There should, there should, not, be, there should be a song. Be. <laughs> yes. Agreed. Awesome. Another one bites the dust. Yes. I love that one. So good. Oh, there's some fantastic answers. So happy to see all the hard work pay off and to hear about the songs that represent your graduation. James, Natalie, thanks for helping me. Uh, and I'll excuse you to go add those songs that none of us knew to our playlists. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And back to our giveaway. The winners of our message boards are Sandra Nichols and Eileen Duff Viola. I love these names. Please email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address so we can send you your prize. To further celebrate your graduation, be sure to check out some beautifully crafted diploma frames, graduation announcements, and much more from our partner, Jostens. Jostens would like to give away two of these diploma frames to some lucky graduates. Reply in the comment section with the month you graduated for a chance to be chosen. And for everyone else, you can save 20% on all custom diploma frames using code FRAMEIT20 and get $50 off any class ring in the standard and official ring collections using code JEWELRY50. These codes are valid through June 30th of this year. Thanks, Jostens. Now, I'm sure you're dying to know who won the two diploma frames. Uh, so, I'm not sure if we have names yet. Do we have names yet? Unsure. 
maybe. All right, <clears throat> so, oh, well, we do. Excellent, I was gonna do my excellent, like, pulling the thumb off trick, like this thing right there. It's gonna be great. Ooh, yeah. Amanda White, you have won a diploma frame, as well as Perry, just Perry. Hi, Perry. Thanks for being online today. If you were selected, Amanda Perry, email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address, and we will send those diploma frames. Now we're back to the table with Michael and Natalie. Hi, Michael and Natalie. How you doing? Good. Natalie, I'm so excited that you're back. <laughs> Michael, we haven't performed for you yet. So here's what we're going to do. First off, <coughs> pardon me. First off, I have way too many things in my pockets. First off, one of those. I don't know why that's in there. Go away. <laughs> Second off, somewhere in here, there it, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> have you ever seen one of these before? Yes. I assume that you have. A little purse clasp. Uh, now, this purse clasp is made of, I would like to say that it's copper, but it's probably just some really cheap stuff with a coating on it. Uh, but the purse attached to it is very special. As you can see, it is invisible just like that invisible deck of cards from earlier. Uh, this has Disney princesses on it, my favorite two. I'm not gonna tell you who they are, it's a secret. Uh, do you have favorite Disney princesses? Yes. Do, uh, who is? Tarzan. Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll count it. All right. So, uh, invi oh, invisible uh, coin purse, it's fine. Can you hear anything in there? It's because they're soft. They don't make a whole lot of noise. You just pull them out like that and it's fine. About half of you online fell for that, it's fine. <laughs> It's all good. Uh, these things are fun. They're little squishy things, and uh, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with them. For example, that one disappears and appears behind the elbow like that. It's very fast. Watch again. I'll do it again. This one goes over there. That one disappears, appears behind the elbow like that. Very fast. I know. <laughs> Here's what you do. You take your finger and you cut that one in half. So then you get two. That one's growing a hair, and that's super gross. Uh, <laughs> all right, check this out. This is one of my favorite magic tricks. You take one in each hand, and with a little bit of a wiggle, they switch places. <laughs> that's a really silly joke. Uh, it takes 20 steps to make them switch places. It takes 10 steps to make one jump there, 10 more steps to make the other one jump back. I'm going to show you 10 steps in super slow motion so you can see what I mean. Looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it jumps from there to there. You do the same thing backwards and they switch places. <laughs> I know, it's super fun. <laughs> hold your hand out like this for me, please. I'm going to hold on to that one. You hold on to this one. Close tight. Perfect. Fist bump of destiny. Open slow. <laughs> so fun. Here, you try. Hold your hand out. Okay. Hold on to that one. Close tight. Perfect. This one goes here. Fist bump of destiny. Open slow. Yes. I know. How did you do that? Magic. Uh, all right. We need another ball. Um, <clears throat> let's put that away. That's dangerous. <laughs> Okay. Now, pay very close attention. We have three here. We go one, two, and the third one goes in the pocket. Now, when I do this with children, I ask them now how many left in this hand. But we're all adults here. I know that you're onto my game. It's clearly three because it's magic. <laughs> Try it again. One, two, third one goes into the pocket. How many in here? There's two in there. Right, three because it's magic. <laughs> it's... Try it again. Last time. Last time. Okay. One, two, third one goes in the pocket. How many? It's going to change this time, not there, three. There's only two in that hand. I should. This is the end of the trick. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> they're back in the pocket. It's fine. I can go over there. Um, <laughs> that too. That shouldn't be here. Go away. All right. We're going to do. Uh, we're going to do one trick here. Where is? Ooh. Where to go? Did I put it in my back pocket? Did I drop it? There should be a cup in a bag somewhere. <laughs> Aha, yes, James, the hero of the hour. Thank you very much. Have you ever heard of the cups and balls trick before? Mm -hmm. Cups and balls trick. The cups and balls trick is the oldest magic trick in the world, at least that we know of. If you search, in fact, everybody's online, Google Egyptian hieroglyphics cups and balls. You'll find pictures of somebody doing something kind of like this. No joke. They're hieroglyphics because they're up here. If they were down here, they would be lower glyphics. <laughs> that hurts me a little bit. 
It's fine. Please check out the cup, check out the ball. Most of the time, uh, so you know, crawl around inside there, make sure there's no uh, trap doors there's or anything goofy in like here. that. Yeah, reach around inside, make sure there's no, no anything goofy like that. No. Cups and balls trick's been around for a very long time. Usually they do this with three cups and three balls. Uh, sometimes with three cups and one ball, then it kind of turns into a game like find the ball mm -hmm. and then they do all kinds of sleight of hand and stuff. Um, obviously this is a little bit different with one cup and one ball because the game changes a little bit. Basically, what I'm gonna to try to do, I'm gonna take the ball, I'm gonna see if I can get it from my pocket over here, back under the cup over there, but without you seeing it. Okay. But before we do that, we're gonna do a rubber band trick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's throwing you off. Yeah, you are throwing me off. <sighs> Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take one rubber band on these fingers right here. Uh -huh. See, this is called suspense. It's right there. It's fantastic. Uh, Don't let it go anywhere. <laughs> Don't let it go anywhere. We have one rubber band here. If you look at this rubber band on these fingers, it looks like we have some kind of a ring, a loop, like a link in a chain, okay? Right. Which means if I make two of these, but link them together like this, then it's like having two links in a chain. Okay. So, unless I remove a finger from a rubber band, then we're stuck. Can't get through the fingers, can't get no. through the hands, obviously can't get through the middle. Two rubber mm -hmm. bands linked together. This is kind of fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. Here, let's try it again. Hold your fingers out like this for me, please. Like this and like that. Excellent. I'm gonna put this rubber band here and this rubber band there. Put your thumbs down on top of there so it doesn't bounce off. And hold it about like that so the camera can see it. <laughs> Same thing as before, except this time you're holding half the rubber bands, which makes it twice as difficult for me. I went to college and I learned my fractions. Now I could try to go all the way around that way. Let's not do that. Let's just do it the cool way. We can't get through your fingers or my fingers or through the middle, but if you give it a rub like this, watch closely. What? Did you see that? I know. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Back to the cup trick. <clears throat> now. Wow. wow. I know, right? <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> Remember, the goal Switching right into the cup. The goal for this is to try to get the ball from my pocket back under the cup without you noticing. Remember? Okay. Make sense? Makes We're on sense. the same page, ready to start the game. Yes, let's Excellent. Let's start. So you start the game, if you remember, with one cup and one ball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the ball goes into the cup. This time, watch closely. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to see if I can get this to work. Wait. So you look around in your pockets like you don't know what you're doing so that you can distract so you can get the ball under the cup. <laughs> Just for fun, take the ball yourself. We're gonna eliminate one of the variables because it's a little tiny ball. I could be sneaking it away or doing something sneaky with it. Drop the ball in the cup yourself so we know it's in the ball. Now, if you had to bet money, which you should never, ever, ever do, if you had to bet money, is the ball under the cup or is the ball in my pocket. It is in your pocket. Pocket, you'd think so. I told you never bet money on these games, or this is a trick question, because you're wrong either way, which is weird. If you say it's under the cup, then I say, of course it's not under the cup. You just saw me put that cup down empty, right? But if you say it's in my pocket, then I say, of course it's under the cup. You saw me do this trick like three times already. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I don't go to Vegas and gamble, because I'd lose. Yes, oh, you'll lose every single time, because it's cheating, you see. See, I really am cheating, though. I'm using more than one ball, as you might have guessed. Thing is, this ball looks like this. The other ball looks a whole heck of a lot like a solid steel two-pound <laughs> ball bearing. Uh, and the other one looks like a duck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks, guys. I'm going to go back over there and keep going with the show. Appreciate it. Excellent. For all of our nursing graduates, we have a special congratulations from our Nursing Honor Society. 
If you want to win this t-shirt, reply in the comments with the name of the hospital that you work at. Congratulations, WGU graduates. We are so excited to be joining you at this virtual commencement celebration. I'm Carol Lisk, the president of our Psi Upsilon chapter of Sigma, the International Honor Society of Nursing. And I also have the honor of currently serving as a board member on the International Board of Directors. And I'm Janine Barrett. I'm the president-elect of our Psi Upsilon chapter. We are so proud of your accomplishment and want to especially recognize our nursing graduates and any graduate that's been affected by the pandemic, particularly our first responders and healthcare workers. We know this has been a challenging year for all of you and appreciate how heroic you are in having accomplished your degree. So on behalf of our entire Psi Upsilon chapter leadership, we celebrate your commencement. Congratulations, WGU graduates. If you want an easy job, you don't become a nurse. Nursing is one of the world's most rewarding professions, but it's also a challenging one. Throughout your career, you'll encounter difficulties you expected and difficulties you didn't. And you'll rise to each challenge using your own innate strength, along with the resourcefulness and creativity you've developed along your journey. You've already used these tools to surmount obstacles and achieve excellence. That's the strength you'll continue drawing on and building on as you confront new challenges. But you won't do it alone. Every nurse leader knows that the support of your peers is essential and invaluable. Together is how we improve health for people all over the world. Through a network of nurses who share your level of commitment and achievement, real relationships with people facing your same challenges, and the continued education you need to make informed decisions and share your discoveries throughout a rich and successful career. Sigma is there for you. Thanks, nursing graduates. We have a winner for the t-shirt, and the winner is Keshia Tarpley. I think I got that one right. To our winner, don't forget an email uh, or to email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address so you can rock that awesome t-shirt. And we've got one final congratulatory video from members of the WGU leadership team before we come back and wrap it up with our last $100 gift card of the night. Please reply in the comments and let us know what you are most excited about for tomorrow's commencement for a chance to win the last $100 gift card to the WGU store. Hello, my name is Allison Bell. I'm Regional Vice President for the Central Region. I'd like to offer you my sincere congratulations for your perseverance and hard work. We are so proud of you and know that you will continue to accomplish great things. You are now members of the Night Owl Nation where ambition never rests. So we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at commencement and go Night Owls. Congratulations, WGU graduates. My name is Maureen O'Brien. I'm the Vice President of Evaluation Operations. And on behalf of the 1300 evaluation faculty members who have read every single one of your submissions and the team that administers the proctored assessments that verifies your competencies, I just wanna say, we're so far, proud of you and we're so happy to celebrate with you today. So go demonstrate your competency to the world. Congratulations, go Night Owls. Thank you for letting me be a part of WGU's commencement weekend. We can't wait to see you tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time to celebrate your accomplishments. <clears throat> uh, now, uh, I think we have the, uh, the winner for the $100 gift card, maybe? No, we have uh, a little bit more time. I wanna say a final congratulations uh, to all of you hardworking night owls out there. 
Uh, you're all an inspiration and example of dedication and perseverance. Uh, also, a, th a huge thank you to the Alumni Relations team for organizing the event, as well as our amazing AV team, Fatfish Media, for helping us put on this production. And for anyone that wants to stay logged in after we announce the winner, I'll be doing one final magic trick for the evening. Our final winner of the $100 gift card is Candy Lorenzo. Congratulations, Candy. $100 to the WGU store. You know the drill. Email alumni at wgu.edu with your mailing address, and we'll get that gift card to you. As a special thank you and bonus prize for those of you who are sticking around to see a little bit more magic, answer in the chat who your favorite magician is, and we'll select three winners to take home this car scraper, keychain, and car freshener. Fancy. Remember uh, that uh, you just got to comment your favorite magician in the chat. Uh, some background for this last trick. Uh, remember earlier I mentioned my grandpa who gave me that magic kit? Uh, when I was 17 and 6 feet tall, he was 75 and still beating me at basketball. <laughs> uh, but he would coach me as we played. Uh, put your feet there, bend your knees, box out, uh, put all the little things together uh, that make a good basketball player. Uh, a few years ago, Grandpa died after a long fight with cancer, and uh, at his funeral, I looked at his headstone and uh, remembered one of my favorite poems. Uh, I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke of the following date with tears, but he said what mattered most of all was the dash between the years. For that dash represents all the time they spent alive on earth, and now only those who loved them know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the car, the house, the cash. What matters most is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged to be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you lived your dash? My, uh, my grandpa was clearly teaching me about more than just basketball. Graduates, please remember the things you learned here at WGU. That it's not all about the money or the job or the stuff. It's also about being a mentor, and helping people, and giving to those who come after you. Smiling more often, showing love, all those little things that come together to form a fulfilling and a happy life. Once again, thank you so much for letting me come share in your incredible achievement. We've got three prize winners for the bonus prizes, I think. <laughs> Let's see, do we have those winners? Maybe. I'll wait for a moment for those winners. Uh, again, thank you so much for having me. Uh, McMillan Justice, Valerie Gray, and Yvonne Stace. You've won the car scraper keychain and car freshener. Email alumni at wgu.edu and we'll get this bonus prize to you. Thank you once more and have a good night.